when using your IB Flex scanner for in-building use, you're going to have batteries. These two batteries we're going to place into the battery box, attach it to our scanner, and then we're going to place our antennas on the front of the scanner, which are normally covered by dust cover. Once you remove these from the ports, which I've already done previously, we'll be able to place everything on the scanner. We're going to start by with the batteries. We're going to open up the battery box. These batteries will only go in one way. And each battery has its own LCD screen to show the power level. When we have both batteries in here, we're going to get about four to six hours of testing. And if you have spare batteries, they are hot swappable. You place one out at a time. Power in is on the back. This auxiliary is actually a power out for some of our other applications. We're going to place this on our scanner. Tighten the set screw so we can maintain a firm connection. And we're ready to start putting our antennas on. RF1 is our active default port. We can also use RF2 if we need additional frequencies to be testing. This is where our Bluetooth antenna port and this is our GPS antenna port, which isn't used in in-building collection. We can also directly connect our tablet using this USB cord versus the Bluetooth antenna port. I'm going to start off with my Bluetooth antenna. Place that on my antenna port, and we just want to tighten it finger tight. My first antenna I'm going to put on there is my UHF, VHF, 700, 800 megahertz. It comes with an SME adapter. I'm going to place that on RF1. And again, we just want to get that on there finger tight. The other antenna I'm going to place on there is a wideband commercial wireless antenna from 600 megahertz to 8.5 gigahertz. Again, we just want those finger tight. And once we have our antenna on our scanner, we can power it up. Now this power switch actually has three positions. All the way up puts it in full power, in the middle is off, and there's also a power save mode. Power save mode does give you extended battery life with the trade-off of slowing down your scanner. Once we first turn the power on, all our lights will blink. The system status light will start to blink, and what we're waiting for is the system status light to go solid green. We're also going to see a light for our GPS, which will stay yellow because we're not using a GPS for in-building testing, and we also have a Bluetooth light. Now, if your system status light is any other color than green, please contact our support. Once it's solid green, your scanner is ready for use.